This is where the incision will be made. The operation will remove all malignant tissue. Recovery time ranges from four to six weeks. Any questions? Jack, anything you want to ask the man? Um, no. Now, Miss Noonan, as I've told you before, only a double mastectomy will prevent possible reoccurrence. I've decided against that. In my experience, most women who do not follow my recommendations regret it later on. I've made up my mind. Yes, quite. Until Saturday, then. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Next time, show a little more respect or I'll break your fucking femur. You okay? Try not to kill my consultant until after the operation. What do you mean? I like him. A wee pair of hands on him. I'm about to stroll in the pram. Don't you have an appointment? It can wait. Nah, you go. I'm just gonna go home and lie down. I'll pick up pizza on the way back. Turns out I'm not as tough as I thought. None of us are. It's not about toughness. It's about strength. You have that, Kate. What's the grub? Well. Hear of a place called Kariva Lake. Some sort of rehab center for rich kids near Gort. I went to school with the guy who runs it. Anthony Bradford Hempel. Ronan Mayer's been there, his girlfriend too. Maybe you could check it out for me tomorrow. You want me to do legwork for you the day before my mastectomy? Take your mind off things. <gasps> Easy on that now. You're giving me advice about drinking. Fuck off. As long as it's not a proposal. No, Kate, it's not a proposal. No. Look, all this, the meal, the flowers, the music, I really appreciate it. A sense of butt there. Well, it's not really you, is it? Which part? The overcooked chicken, the sappy trad music? Or... Look, the problem is, I know you too well. Now, you go your own way without bothering to tell people. You hold back when you should be honest, and you let people down. Okay, since we're going all Oprah Winfrey on this, here's my take. I'm knackered, you're drunk. Doesn't make for good bedfellows. I'll catch you later. Jack! I got nothing. On Anthony.
so fucking petrified, Jack. Get some spuds and bacon into your nona. Oh, Christ, of course. I'll, I'll be back in time to take you to the hospital. And don't worry, Dara's gonna come with me. Mm. I'll be there before you go in. What was it you were gonna say to me the other night? I'll tell you later on. Oh, jeez. How you feel? Like 40 cats shot in my mouth. Listen. I'm sorry I didn't make it earlier. Something came up. Hey. You know that thing I wanted to talk to you about a couple of nights ago? I did a leftover from the funds that Mrs. Bailey left me. Not for a down payment. If you fancy a change. There's no rush. No. No, the deposits are refundable, so. Have a think. Something like this. But he, uh... Something else happened? No. No, just big waste of time. In my bag, Anthony's files and Ronan, and Bethany and Jimmy. I didn't finish going through them. There might be something.
Get well, Kate, and sure. Talk to you soon. <clears throat> What did Lord Dimple want? He heard about the operation. He just wanted to pay me a visit, like old friends do. Right. Nothing else. What else would there be? What? Is this what you've come down to? It wasn't what you think. Then why didn't you tell me? Come on, you were fresh from an operation. I'm not going to start. Not going to what, Jack? Be honest. Trust me. Stop it. It was Mason. Had nothing to do with me. Of course. You were just the innocent bystander. I thought two lives were at stake. I had to make a decision. Based on what evidence? This is bollocks. Either you trust me or you don't. 